the one conspiracy of all conspiracies. Let's talk about one conspiracy of all conspiracies that's doing something a little different than all of them combined. Now, there's a lot of different conspiracies, from JFK to 9-11, Sandy Hook, Boston bombing, to vaccinations, chemtrails, the moon landing, and the one big one, Flat Earth. Now, I don't know if you've been hearing a lot about what's been going on, but it's getting crazy out there. The one thing I find fascinating is that this one conspiracy is doing something that no other conspiracy is doing. It's leading people to dig into the Bible. What other conspiracy can you say is causing this? 9-11? Now, I don't remember many people looking into the Bible. Maybe some people posted videos about how they interpreted revelations and bringing in 9-11. But other than that, JFK? No. Chemtrails? No. No one's ever really looked into the Bible with this. But the flat earth conspiracy, the flat earth truth as I should say it, it's fascinating. It's incredible to see so many people turning to the Bible. You have people like Mark Sargent looking into Bible verses, looking in deeper into the firmament, the construction, even with ancient ways on how people viewed the earth, how people viewed the cosmology. Patricia Steer, other flat earthers are coming forward, looking into the Bible, understanding the Bible is a flat earth book, but there's no way around it. When you look into Genesis right through to Revelations, you find nothing but support for a stationary earth. That the earth is stationary and that everything else revolves around it. That we were created special. That we were created in an enclosed system for us. There's not trillions and trillions of galaxies and other earths. Earth 2.0. This nonsense continues on with NASA and the world's scientific elite. Scientism. It's ridiculous. It needs to stop. But it's amazing that the flat earth topic is bringing people closer to God. I mean, the number one way that God communicates to us is through his word, the Bible. This is how God communicates and God will communicate to everyone opening his book, reading his words. The Holy Spirit will convict their hearts in his time and within his will, it shall be done. As people look further into the lies of the world and with Celebrate Truth, this channel is exposing the world's lies and we celebrate the truth. And we know John 14, 6, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. This is a truth that we all know. Anyone that knows the Bible, that knows Christ, that knows God, wants to understand His wisdom. The wisdom of the world is foolishness to God. And that's what we need to understand, is everything else is foolishness. Even though these so-called scientific elite think that they're so bright in talking about their trillions of galaxies and space and solar system and the heliocentric model, they don't know. They don't have a clue. They make up lies about our world, discredit the Bible, make people doubt God. It's amazing to see atheists and agnostics and people of all walks, of all faiths, coming to the truth that we are created special, that our world is an enclosed system designed for us, that this is the exciting truth. And this is something that is very exciting. It should bring joy to anyone that's a Christian, that believes in God, that understands his plan for the world understands his truth, wants people to know the truth. It's amazing. This is a journey. This conspiracy is one conspiracy about all conspiracies that's doing something different. It's doing something different in the minds and in the souls and in the hearts of people all around the world. It's bringing them to God's truth. It's bringing them straight to Genesis and digging further into the Bible and understanding 
that we were created, that we are loved, that there is a creator, and he intimately is involved with our activities. It's amazing. Hopefully, you'll see this. If you don't, and you think it's nuts, it's too bad. The truth is the truth. Take care.